Namaste and blessed be superhumans. It's Goddess Rhonda here with your Psychic Empath Superhuman Astrological Report with Superhuman Tips for Tuesday, February 19th, 2019. So before we begin, quickie reminder, you always want to listen to your sun sign, your moon sign, and your rising sign. This is very important because your moon sign especially is how you think and whatever your thoughts are is really how you are. And your rising sign is what it is you are aspiring to become in this lifetime. And so it's going to give you important insights to listen to all of them. Happy full moon. I apologize that I could not do a live full moon ceremony because of my new internet now that I've moved into the mountains. And I'm kind of stuck with it. But I will figure out a new platform because they don't come out very well. Or I will, if I have to, I will pre-record them. But I will come up with a solution. I'm working on it. So please bear with me. So now let's go and get started with Aries. Aries, you've got something really important starting for you, which is Chiron in Aries. It's like an eight-year transit. And so I'm just giving you a heads up, not to frighten you, but just to make you kind of aware quickly what that means for you. And I do want you to um, look that up on the internet or in books or ask an astrologer about Chiron and Aries and how it will affect you personally. Because Chiron is the wounded healer. He could fix everybody except himself. And so what can happen is you may start thinking about things, old wounds that you've had a hard time letting go of over your lifetime. And also you can even start to relive some of those things. It'll come up situations that are very similar to those. Your job is not to wallow and feel badly about it. Your job is to say, oh, wow, I didn't know I was still so wounded from this. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it, give it to the light. Or, wow, you know what? I knew I needed to get over this. Now's a good time. Let me start working on that. Get therapy, whatever you have to do. But get ready because it can be... Um, emotionally challenging to to work through it. But since you already know and you're not to dwell in it, but to take steps to fix it and heal it, you should be okay. With that said, we have intuition with fertility, meaning you are thinking about how to create a life for yourself or a new life for yourself in the future. And so tonight we're going to be working with these great full moon energies. So what I want you to do is there is no greater fertility goddess or creation god. I call them creation gods and goddesses than our wonderful full moon who represents our divine mother. Go out there and soak up those rays, burn a white candle, connect with the moon. If you, I know it's cold outside, you don't have to go out there. Maybe you could see it through a window or just sit and connect. You don't have to even see it connect with the full moon and ask her what you need to do to create that life for yourself. Definitely engage in those energies since it's about creation and you've got the full moon right now to help you make those decisions for yourself. Taurus is be very careful. We have prosperity begins. Notice the two hands here. So it's about a partnership with deception and envy. This means you could be hooking up um, business-wise or financially or someone who is not the best person in the world or working with someone. So a lot of times it's a co-worker. You want to be very careful. You know, people like this can be very charming and, and sell you the Brooklyn Bridge, but you want to be extra, extra careful in your dealings with people. So you're going to use the full moon who also represents psychic abilities and intuition to shore up and strengthen your intuition so that you know who to deal with, who not to deal with. Ask her to enlighten you as to how you should proceed with the people in your life. Gemini's, we have awareness with financial and material changes. So you may be thinking about expenses. Maybe you started a project and you didn't realize what the how much it was going to cost, or maybe some unexpected expenses has come to you. This is about an unexpected expense. So what you want to do is... You want to actually connect also with the full moon and ask her, you know, when she's full, she can bring fullness to areas of your life like prosperity. Ask her to fill your wallet with money, fill your bank account with money, fill you with ideas on how to make that money 
that you need to get rid of these expenses and then you can have what you need to get back in the black, as we used to say, and not have to worry about financial expenditures. Cancers, we have truth with authority. So cancer, you know, you're water, you're psychic, and you're very emotional. You gain, you know, your your sign is about emotions and water. And so when things aren't going our way, sometimes it could be, oh, I can't believe so-and-so did this to me or so-and-so or that, or I can't get this going. But what this card is, and the truth card is about the bottom line, is you are actually responsible for your happiness, for everything going on in your life. And it's time for you to step up and be that badass authority in your life. You're so helping and healing to other people. Let's get that going now for you. Step up, take command. Tell the universe, hey, universe, guess what? You know what? I am stepping out of my my challenges and into a new life, and I need you, my beautiful sister moon, you, my patron, to make me the full moon energy of my life. Give me that energy so that I am the authority, so that I am the goddess in my life, and that can help you to gain what it is that you seek. Leos, we've got the crown chakra with solitude. Leos, this means you need to actually kind of take a break and go into solitude, but not just sit by yourself. See, she's got a holy book and a temple behind her. This is about meditation, getting into your higher self. The moon is perfect for that. The full moon energies, light a white candle and sprinkle it with some silver glitter if you have and just kind of gaze into it. You don't have to think about anything. Just connect with the divine to give them your challenges. Bring peace into your life. Just get into that wonderful full moon healing energy today to help you so that you can feel healed and healthy. Whoopsie. Virgos, we've got stand your ground with rejoice and celebration. So the Rejoice and Celebration card is a card of commitment. So you may have committed something. Maybe you've got some questions going on. But this card is telling you to stand your ground. If you've made this commitment, then stick with it. Figure out what the challenge is. Resolve the challenge so that you can continue happily with this commitment. And you also can ask the full moon healing energies to heal whatever issue is causing you to question this commitment so that you can reaffirm your commitment and continue to move forward. Libras, aren't you the lucky ones? We have material and spiritual prosperity with material harvest. This means that what you've been working towards is going to be paying off for you. And that doesn't mean today you're going to win the lottery or you're going to get that giant promotion. It just means things are coming for you. Everything that you have done, your manifestation work, there is progress coming. So again, for you, much like we had with Gemini's, I want you to bask in the full moon energies. You don't have to go sit outside in the cold. You can just connect with those energies to just fill your wallet, fill your bank accounts, see yourself covered in gold, bring those energies to you faster, utilizing the wonderful full moon energies. Scorpios, We've got passion ignited with the heart chakra. So someone's got love and passion on their mind. So if you've already found your, your lover that you are passionate about, good for you. And it can also be a, something that you're passionate about. You can suddenly become passionate about art or your job. It doesn't necessarily have to be a lover. But what you can do is, and if you don't have that yet, then you can also use that full moon energy First of all, to heal whatever it is that's keeping you from the love and passion that you are seeking, to heal whatever it is that's that's stopping that, and then to enlighten you as to what to do to bring this love and passion in. And if you're already in this relationship, you can ask the full moon to nurture that relationship so that it grows even more strongly for you. Sages. We've got positive transformation with harmony. So you also are working towards a happy love life with someone or being in harmony. And it can also be harmony in harmony with your family, even in harmony with yourself. 
things are working out, things are going well for you. So why not make it even better by you also surrounding yourself with that full moon energy? Ask her to harmonize with you, to bring more harmony into your life and faster, to show you how to do it, to enlighten you. This way you can engage in these wonderful harmonious energies with the divine and bring that harmony into the rest of your life. Capricorns, we have emotional withdrawal with partnerships and alliances. The emotional withdrawal card is a card of peace, of emotional peace. He's all zenned out in front of the ocean. He's resting. He's meditating. Things are great. This means someone in your life with partnerships and alliances is going to help you to reach this state. It's going to bring you support that you need. Someone is coming. And so why not, especially since you're going into a space of peace, why not partner with the full moon energies to bring you that peace, to bring you that support, to bring you that level of comfort? It's a great time to do that. You don't always have to partner with a, a physical being. The full moon, wonderful, healing, psychic energies are here to help you. So why not take a little meditation time, even just in front of a glass or a bowl of water, since the moon represents that, and just connect and feel that support, feel that maternal love, and then you'll be feeling better. Aquarians, you've also got some positive movement forward going on. You've got positive movement forward over obstacles and challenges, which means these obstacles and challenges are fading and you're fighting back and you're winning. Well, the moon represents the water. Why not you also engage with the full moon energies, ask her to heal whatever is causing these obstacles and challenges and just resolve it so that you can have that positive movement forward in your life. Pisces, we've got great news for us. We've got accelerated motion with memories of love. Now, the memories of love card, it can go either way, but we are finally, after 2011, after eight years, the lovely planet Chiron, the wounded healer, who, of course, we give all respect to, is leaving us and going into Aries. So, since 2011, you may have been challenged with old wounds that just kept coming up, old emotional stuff. We're going through like an, an emotional PTSD, remembering issues that may have happened throughout your lifetime or things that you just have not been able to get over or let go of. Finally, we are pretty much done with that. Instead of focusing on the, on the, the past, Chiron is, the, they call him the wounded healer because he could heal everyone but himself. And you know, that's basically how we Pisces are anyway is that we are always trying to help everyone else. And then um, at least those with the positive aspect, because there are people with negative aspects of Pisces. But with the positive aspects of Pisces, we are always trying to heal and help and fight for the underdog while our own life is in chaos. And so you may have found that while you're trying to help everyone else over the past eight years, your own life has been a challenge, a struggle. You're just constantly going through life like a football player, you know, trying to, to block everybody and get to the goal line. It's done. We're free. Yay. Now there is some post shadow lingering. So we probably won't be totally out of the, the water until April, but we're able to put that behind us. So that's a great thing. Now is the great time to literally wash yourself in the full moon energies. When I say, I mean, just imagine just, waves and waves of full moonlight going over you and washing you, cleaning up those wounds, healing you up so that you emerge as the strong, powerful warrior, a successful person that has paid the dues, come through the fire and gratefully says, yes, success is mine now. That's all I see. And that's where I'm going. So that is your psychic impact Superhuman Astrological Report for Tuesday, February 19th, 2018. Oh, one more thing, Pisces. We are now in our realm from now 
for one month, we are in our realm. That means go for it. Whatever you want, go for it. Now is the time to assert yourself. Let's use this energy. Okay, so with that said again, I'm Goddess Rhonda, and I'm sending you all the energy you need to achieve whatever it is you're trying to achieve. Thank you so much for joining me. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and share it with those you feel it will help. And share it with everybody because you never know. Also, please check out my website. You can book an appointment with me. Just go to goddessrhonda.com and it should take you right to my website where you can, um, if you need a consultation or a healing, you can talk to me about that. Also, please check out my book, which I forgot again to bring over. You are not broken. You can get it at barnesandnobles.com, Barnes and Nobles in the Coronado Mall, the Blue Eagle Metaphysical Emporium, the Albuquerque Public Library System, and Amazon.com. So once again, I am sending you tons of energy and ask you to pass that on and bless someone else today. I will see you tomorrow. Happy full moon. Happy realm of Pisces. Namaste and blessed be. Bye-bye.